Hello, my name is Bert, and in this video we're going to talk about the Generate Documents task in Flowable. With this task, it's possible to generate PDFs or Word documents and add data to them dynamically by using templates. So, Flowable uses the LinkQ reporting engine to parse these templates, and you can visit, visit their documentation website for the specific syntax, information about the specific syntax for these templates. I uh, created one of these documents for this tutorial. So um, we'll quickly go over it so you understand this template. Um, Flowable in injects this context variable. So you can access uh, data through Flowable by use of these backend expressions like you would use in Flowable design. This context object provides a few methods like the value method. This just gets the value of this referenced uh, variable. In this second line here, you can see an if statement. It either pays this line or this line based on the Boolean value of this expression here. This third line uh, pays the name or and value of the items in this items array. And this for each um, method returns the iterable that the link you engine expects in this for each statement. And it's the last element, um, the image in this pro image process variable is pasted into the document. So let's go to global design and create our template model. Okay. So for the generate documents task, we'll need to select the document template type here, which is the default. Um, we can either reference a template on the class path or upload it here, and we'll do that. Just drag it in and save. Then we'll go to the process we'll use to test this template out. Oh, I already made a start in it. Um, in this initialize variables, um, I created this items array that we'll reference in the in the templates. And this enter in enter info task, I created a form where the user can enter the first name, last name, the information type for that if statement, and the image that will be shown into into the document. Right. So we'll create our generate documents task and go over the options. So first of all, we'll have to reference the template um, below we made. You can either do that by key or just reference it here, which I'll do. We'll leave this in the same deployment unchecked, so the last uh, newest definition is used. Here we specify the document name of the generated document, so we'll just say my document dot pdf and we'll uh, select PDF here for the document type. Um, in this field, we can specify the name of that context obje object we use in the templates, but we'll just leave it uh, blank since the default is context, which we used in the template. And then the output variable to specify the process variable that the generated content item will be uh, placed in. So we'll here we'll say my PDF. Here you also have the option to specify a content item to update with the generated um, document, but we won't do that here. Okay, so we'll create a new user task to show off our document. Let's create a form for that. And we have this widget to show PDF documents. We'll use that. And let's reference our document here in um, with an expression. Okay, so let's save everything. Oh, let's finish our process here and save and publish our app. Okay, let's go to work and test it out. So enter my name information type, we'll choose full information for that if statement. And I have the flowable logo here for 
an image to enter. Let's complete it. And here we can see our create a document with the name, the result of the if statement, the result of the for each statement, and the pasted in image. All right, that was it for this tutorial. I hope you learned something. For more tutori tutorials, you can visit the Flowable uh, YouTube channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.